What's up guys, Astrax here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys on how to make this black and yellow male triad outfit with a yellow rebreather, and you guys can use any belt. So for this, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and head to your arcade. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to my arcade. When you do get to your arcade, you're gonna to wanna to walk over here to your setup board. And on the setup, you're gonna to wanna to go to the select approach and you're gonna to wanna to set it to the big con, which is this bug stars band. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select the bug stars band. So it's gonna be called the robbery using tricks and disguises, which is gonna be the middle job right here. After you have selected this, you can then go ahead and press your right trigger, move over here to the board. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your entry disguise is the bug stars outfit or the bug stars gear, which will give you the yellow rebreather outfit. So whenever you have done all this and you have done your uh, your entry disguise as the bug stars gear, you can then go over here to your final board, your prep board, and then you're just going to want to go ahead and select the heist. When you load it into the big con job, all you want to do is invite a friend or someone that you trust that can help you out. And whenever someone does join, you can just launch the job. So whenever you guys are here and you guys are able to uh, choose your all your entry disguises and your exit disguises, all you want to do is set your entry disguise to the bug stars and you guys can set your entrance, your exit, your exit disguise and whatever buyer you want to set it to. And after you did set your entry disguise to bug stars, now you can just hit continue. And then once you are here and it does give you the option, options for your outfits, you're going to want to scroll until you do find the debugger, which gives you the yellow rebreather. After you do find the debugger outfit and just have your friend hit ready to play, now you can just hit ready to play. After you load into the job, all you want to do is just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to illuminating clothing, and all you want to do is scroll through illuminating clothing for one minute. And after you did scroll through illuminating clothing, I'll go back to you and tell you what you have to do after. After you've scrolled through illuminating clothing for at least one minute, all you want to do is also make sure your friend doesn't go to the yellow circle, but he can do whatever he wants. But after you've scrolled through illuminating clothing for at least one minute, if you're on Xbox and PlayStation, all you want to do is just go ahead and go to your Xbox or PlayStation home. And after you sit here for maybe three to five minutes, it should kick you from the job. But just make sure your friend does tell you or your friend can let you know whenever you guys got kicked from the job. Just make sure your friend doesn't die or he doesn't kill you and you should be good. But just let just let your friend know or have your friend let you know when you got kicked from the job. When your friend tells you that you guys got kicked from the job, you can just go back into GTA Online. It'll say you got kicked. Now hit continue and you should just load back into a session with the debugger outfit. When you load back into a public session, you'll see that you're wearing the debugger outfit, which looks like this. And after your outfit does look like this, all you want to do is head to a clothing store. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a clothing store. When you have made it to the clothing store, now you're going to want to walk over here to your hats, scroll down to any selections of hat, it doesn't really matter. And you're just going to want to put on no top, which is on slot one. After you have done that, you can now just back out of the hats. If your character does have a parachute on, just go to style, go to parachute and set your parachute to off. And then this is what your outfit should look like so far. After your outfit does look like this, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on any slot that you want. So now after you did save the outfit, now I'm going to show you on how to make the outfit you see in the thumbnail. Now to make this outfit, all you want to do is just walk over here to your tops. Scroll down to sweaters, which will be on slot 39. Click on sweaters, and you're going to equip the black turtleneck on slot 69. After you do equip the black turtleneck, you're just going to want to go ahead and back out. And after you do back out of your tops, head over here to the pants section. Go ahead and click on jeans, which will be on slot 1. And you're going to equip the midnight camo fitted jeans on slot 41. After you've equipped the midnight camo fitted, back out of the pants section. Walk over here to your accessories. Scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and equip the refuse collector gloves on slot 54. After you've equipped the refuse collector gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to sneakers on slot 2, click on sneakers, and you're going to look for the hazard high top sneakers on slot 22. After you've equipped the hazard high top sneakers, you can now just back out of your shoes. And if your character has any head accessories or a parachute, you're going to want to go and take that off. 
So that was the reason we did save the debunker outfit with the rebreather. So, because we have to take off any head accessories that we have, so then the glitch will work. But if your character also has a parachute, you're going to want to go ahead and take that off. So I did forget one part, which you're going to want to head back over here to your tops for, is scroll down to utility vest on slot 53, click on utility vest, and you're going to look for the peach plate carrier, which will be right here on slot 43. So go ahead and equip the peach plate carrier. After you've equipped the peach plate carrier, this is what your office should look like so far. After your outfit does look like this, you're going to want to walk over here to your walk over here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you're going to want to save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. So hopefully you didn't save the yellow rebreather outfit on any of those slots. But after you do save the after you do save this outfit on slot one or slot 20, you can now just back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down to heist coveralls on slot 13, click on heist coveralls and scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and just select one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, we're now gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the mask from this outfit over to the outfit we just saved. When you have found a telescope on the pier, all you wanna do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit run on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, click on style, scroll down to your outfits and go ahead and equip the outfit you just saved on slot one or slot 20. After you have equipped this outfit, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does combine with your outfit, just like this. After your outfit does look like this, you're now going to want to head over here to the gun store so we can save this outfit. Once you have made it to the gun store, you're going to want to walk over here to the clothing section, walk over here to the tops, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you did save this outfit, you can now just back into the tops, and now we're going to start up the job that's called a titan of a job. So go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, click on online, click on quick join. If it does say jobs, which it probably will on old gen, so if you're on old gen, it'll say jobs, but if you're on new gen, it'll say quick join. So click on quick join or jobs, scroll down to play job, click on play job, go to rockstar created, scroll down to missions, and you're going to look for the job that's called a titan of a job and just start up that job. When you load into the Titan of a Job mission, you'll see that you load in without the Peach Plate Carrier. Now go back inside the gun store, walk over here to the tops, hit Edit Saved Outfits. If it doesn't let you hit Edit Saved Outfits like you guys can see right here, that means your game is glitched and all you want to do is just go ahead and restart your game. So you don't have to worry because your, uh, your outfit already saved so you won't really lose anything. So all you want to do is just go ahead and restart your GTA game. When you load back into Titan of a Job because you had to restart your game because it wouldn't let you go to your tops just because your game bugs out uh, for some reason whenever you get the yellow rebreather or anything like that, I don't know why, but it just wouldn't let you go inside the gun store. But if it did, then that's good and it let you go to your tops then that'll be fine. But now you're here, so whenever you do actually load into the Titan of a Job and it does let you go to your tops, your outfit should look like this. So without the Peach Plate Carrier and only the Toxic Mask. So once your outfit does look like this, walk over here to the tops Hit right on the D-pad to browse outfits. Now hit your edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you did save your outfit, you can now just back out of the tops, pull up your phone, and just leave the job from your phone. So when you are back in a public session, you're going to want to go ahead and run back inside the gun store. And you're just going to want to equip an outfit that has a belt. So if you already have an outfit that has any type of belt, so like a cop belt, a maintenance belt, a paramedic belt, a group A sex gear belt, any stuff like that, you're going to want to go ahead and equip it. So if you don't know how to equip one of those belts, besides the cop belt and paramedic belt, you're going to want to walk over here to the right side where it says outfits. Scroll down to the diamond casino heist on slot 50. Click on diamond casino heist. Scroll down to Group A Sex Gear, which will be on slot 20, and you're just going to want to equip one of these outfits that has the Group A Sex Gear belt, which I believe this belt will probably look the best on the yellow and black outfit. I like this belt a lot. But after you have, uh, if you don't like this belt, you can go ahead and back out, scroll up to Maintenance, which will be on slot 18. Click on Maintenance, and you're going to want to go ahead and equip one of these outfits that has one of these type of belts. If you don't like this belt, you can go ahead and back out. Scroll up to Prison Guards, which will be on slot 15. Click on Prison Guards and just equip one of these outfits that has this type of belt. So just after you have chosen an outfit with one of those type of belts, you can now just back out of the outfits. So I'm going to go ahead and ha I already have an outfit. So the outfit I have has the cop belt. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. 
So after you have chosen the outfit with the belt that you want to transfer over to the black and yellow outfit, we're now going to go ahead and do the merge glitch. So if you guys want to do the it's a G thing job, I will leave a link in the description on how to do that. But for me, I'm going to do the apartment merge because uh, I just think it's better because randoms join faster since it's a heist. But yeah, I'm going to get back to you whenever I do get to my apartment. Whenever you do get to your apartment, you're going to want to go into your heist planning board room. Whenever you get to your heist planning board room, go up to your heist planning board, and out of all the five heists, you're going to want to select the one that's called the Fleeka job. After you select the Fleeka job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Scope Out, but the second job, it's going to be called Karuma. Whenever you have the second job, which is going to be Karuma available, you're just going to want to start up that job. Once you load into the Karuma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. After you have set your clothing to uh, player saved outfits, you can then go ahead and hit play. And then after you hit play, just wait for a random or someone to join. And after someone has joined, you can just launch the job. After you launch the job, it's going to bring you into your own outfits. So if you saved the black and yellow outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, if you saved it on slot 1, scroll one time to the right. If you saved it on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. And then this is what your outfit should look like. After your outfit does look like this, you can hit ready to play. When you fully loaded into the Karuma job, all you want to do is pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. So when you load back into a public session, you'll see that you're wearing the outfit with the belt, so the outfit you had on before the black and yellow outfit. Whenever you are wearing the outfit with the belt, you're going to want to go ahead and just find a vehicle, so it doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, but whenever you have found a vehicle, you're going to want to get inside that car. After you do get inside the car, you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. After you have registered as a CEO or an MC, pull up your interaction menu again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to, or just on your CEO style, you're going to want to scroll one time to the left and then scroll one time to the right back to none. After you have done this, hop out of the car and you will see that the belt that you had on your outfit, you'll see that it does transfer over to your outfit, just like this. So after your outfit does look like this, we're now going to head to the clothing store, so then we can save this outfit. When you get to the clothing store, all you want to do is just walk over here to the hats, scroll down to caps backward, which will be on slot 5, click on caps backwards, and you're going to look for the flash cap. So the flash cap should look like this on slot 24, so equip the flash cap. After you've equipped the flash cap back out of the hats, now we're going to go ahead and equip the Germany parachute. So for the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to parachute, click on parachute, set your parachute to on, and you're going to want to set it to the Germany shoot bag. If you don't have the Germany shoot bag, you will want to go to the gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then look for the Germany shoot bag. After you buy the Germany shoot bag, you can then back out of the front counter, Pull up, your, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute, set your parachute to on, and then it should be set to the Germany shoot bag. So after your outfit does look like this, you're now going to want to walk over here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved this outfit, all you want to do is just go ahead and click on your saved outfits and equip the yellow rebreather outfit. After you do equip the yellow debugger rebreather outfit, you can now just back up to the front counter, and now we're going to head over here to the pier so we can do the merge, the telescope merge glitch. When you do find the telescope on the pier and you are wearing the yellow rebreather outfit, go into the telescope glitch. Go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where the yellow rebreather does come off. So now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, and go ahead and equip the black and yellow outfit that we just saved at the clothing store, which should look like this. After your outfit does look like this, put away your interaction menu. Walk away from the telescope and you will see that the yellow rebreather transfers over to your outfit just like this. And after your outfit does look like this, now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's pretty much it for this outfit. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, glitched outfit video. Uh, I hope everybody has a good day. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.